Outgoing, happy, friendly, and playful, the Papillons are intelligent little dogs whose beautiful appearance has made them a royal favorite. In modern times, they're happy with a normal loving family. Only a few dogs can express the aura of fanciness, and the Papillon does this effortlessly. It's not all surprising if you want one for yourself. Hello and welcome to Dog Oracle! Before we get into today's video, if it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to help out our channel and make the YouTube algorithm happy. What would the Queen of France Marie Antoinette tell you today about what her thoughts on the Papillon? To find out, make sure to watch till the end of the video. Okay, let's get into the 10 things you must know before bringing home a Papillon. Number 10. No one is sure about their origin. Starting in the 1200s, small spaniels like the Papillon appeared in Europe. However, the dog's heritage is not so clear. Some say the breed originated in China, where a dog with a similar appearance evolved into the modern-day Pekingese. Others say the Papillon's features come from the Japanese Shin. Some argue that there is no Asian impact because Europeans were able to reduce the size of other breeds without the help of smaller Eastern canines. Regardless of its origin, the dog surely has deep roots in Europe. The breed was improved by the French and Belgians, who gave it a high-domed head and feathery ears that resemble butterfly wings. This is why it's named Papillon, because this is the French word for butterfly. The exact origin of the Papillon canines isn't known to many people as we mentioned earlier, but many artworks from the historical period show Papillon-like canines with the French elites. This makes some people conclude that the Papillon might have originated in France and emerged around the 16th century. The breed had many other names, like a Panyol Nan, which translates to Dwarf Spaniel, Dwarf Continental Spaniel, and Little Squirrel Dogs because of their full plum tail that resembles a squirrel. The only other significant change in the breed's appearance was in color. The Little Spaniels used to be solid colored but now they're white with color patches. Papillons nowadays look very similar to the one seen in an artwork in the Louvre. The Phelan, a drop-eared type of Papillon, still exists, although they're not as common. Number 9. They're always bustling with energy. While the bright, lively, and curious Papillon may be classified as a lap dog due to their size, they're probably not the ideal pick if you want a dog to sit on your lap while you watch TV. They'll most likely rather be busy zooming around looking for something to do, and they'll gladly rid your home and yard of any small rodents. This small dog comes in a tough package, and they also take their role as a family companion very seriously. They have a big dog mentality and a high degree of awareness that makes them a great watchdog, but when it comes to guarding you, be sure they don't bite off more than they can chew. After all, they only weigh around 4 to 9 pounds. The Papillon is a lively and outgoing dog. They enjoy being around people and they're always ready to give kisses to everyone they meet. The Papillon's petite stature makes them pretty easy to manage, and their dense coat is easy to maintain and they don't shed as excessively as you might think. Number 8. They have a long lifespan. This breed has a long lifespan. It's not uncommon for Papillons to live well into their adolescence, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting one. The dog will be a member of your family for quite a while. According to Vet Street, these butterfly ear dogs can live up to 17 years. When you pick up a Papillon for you or your family, it's literally like adopting a child. But certain health issues should be considered. The Canine Health Information Center suggests checking your papillon for patellar relaxation and having an eye test performed by a veterinarian. Paroxysmal respiration, sometimes known as reverse sneezing, is also a disorder that affects papillons. This is caused by a variety of reasons, including allergic reactions to perfumes or strong scents and pollen allergies. In most cases, though, reverse sneezing is completely harmless. Number 7. Painters love them. If you go to an art gallery, there's a good chance you'll see a papillon in some artwork. In the 16th century, papillons became very famous, especially among nobility and artists. They were such a popular muse for painters that their history and growth can be witnessed in many works of classic art. Papillons have been depicted in a number of paintings due to their natural beauty. 
Tiziana Vicelli's paintings, including the Venus of Urbino, include dogs that resemble the breed. Titian, Otto, Gonzalez Koch, Fragonard, Paolo, Veronese, and Mignard are also some of the notable artists who use the papillon in their work as well. Number 6. The breed has two different ear shapes. The papillon's delicate grace is enhanced with ears that look like outspread butterfly wings. They have a long flowing coat and a plume tail too. Because papillons are quite easy to groom, fans refer to them as sensible glamour. In fact, when you say the famous line, I woke up like this, you might probably say that of the papillon. While most papillons have the famous butterfly ears, others have moth ears, which are floppier and dropped. Originally, their ancestors had droopy ears, but as the craze shifted toward more erect ears, the papillon has been bred for that feature. The Phelan is another type of papillon with droopy ears. Despite the difference in name, they are both papillons and can even be found in the same litter. Other clubs say that they are separate breeds entirely, but the American Kennel Club registers both types as the same breed. Number 5. They are incredibly smart. While all dogs make excellent best friends, some are actually a bit clueless. However, when it comes to working intelligence, several dog breeds stand out. The Papillon definitely makes the list. Papillons can be taught to perform practically any trick. They thrive on work and mental stimulation. Because the Papillon aims to please their owners, they love to be trained. They are great in dog sports and they're excellent in the show ring too. As you see, they're not just about looks. The Papillon also learns from all their experiences, good or bad. As an owner of this dog breed, make sure to give them a composed yet not too harsh training. After all, with that much intelligence, there's no limit to what you can teach the Papillon. Alright, we're about halfway through this video and we still got a lot more cool facts to go through, so make sure to stick around. And let me know what you think so far about the adorable Papillon in the comments below. Is it the right dog for you? Number 4. They are fragile dogs. Too many people buy a toy breed puppy without realizing how delicate they are. Stepping or sitting on a papillon puppy can cause major injury, or in some cases, death. By leaping from your arms or off the back of your sofa, papillons might harm or kill themselves. With one rapid shake, a larger dog can grasp a papillon and snap his neck. As an owner, you must know that owning a toy breed needs regular monitoring. Papillon puppies are also not suitable for toddlers, regardless of how well-intentioned the child is. A papillon who has been accidentally stomped on will not be comforted by the fact that a toddler intended well. Also, the loud shouts and rapid movements that children make can overwhelm even adult papillons. This causes anxiety and panic in this dog breed, so you should consider these factors before getting one for your family. Number 3. The Great in Dog Shows Papillons are showstoppers at dog shows. With their plume tails waving, butterfly ears upright, and adorable agile movements, they're sure to amaze the audience. However, they're not limited to beauty pageants. In 1999, a papillon made breed history when it won Best in Show at the Westminster Kennel Club Show. Another papillon named Dylan became the first papillon to win Best in Show at the Crufts Dog Show in 2019. Another papillon named Kirby also won the World Dog Show in Helsinki, Finland, as well as the Royal Invitational in Canada in 1998. The wins of this dog breed helped to popularize the papillon by introducing it to people who had never seen or heard of it before. One thing to note is papillons aren't on every street corner, meaning that they're not very common compared to other dog breeds. Because papillons produce tiny litters, most breeders have a waiting list and they might cost you a pretty penny. Number 2. Marie Antoinette was a fan of the breed. The final Queen of France, Marie Antoinette, was a huge dog lover who kept a variety of canines at her palace. Her favorite was a papillon named Coco. Marie Antoinette was said to be fond of the breed, to the point where one narrative claims she carried one of her beloved dogs to the guillotine with her. According to legend, her papillon was spared the fate of its former owner and was nursed in a Parisian home alongside a few of Antoinette's other papillons. That house is still known as the House of the Papillon to this day. 
Coco survived the French Revolution and had a long life, but at the age of 22, she passed away. Number 1. One is relatively rich. When we said the Fabian came from a luxurious and royal lifestyle, we didn't imagine that it would apply today. When the actress Lauren Bacall died in 2014, she had an estate that was worth $26.6 million. It was divided among her three children and her beloved Papillon. Sophie the dog was given $10,000 to continue living the pampered lifestyle she had been used to. Bacall's youngest son, Sam Robards, holds the money and he is in charge of pampering the dog in the owner's absence. We hope you enjoyed this video! Comment below which fact about the Papillon surprised you most or if you missed anything you think should have made the list. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Here's another one that you might like. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.